Hello everybody, I've uh, just finished sharing a message that was live on Sunday um, and I am now preparing these devotions for this coming week and I really felt that it was right this morning before I got up to share these devotions off the back of my message because there was so much from what I shared that could be elaborated on and so what I really want to do over the course of this devotion and the next one is to lean a little bit more into some of the things that I shared on Sunday. And we talked about the difference between obtaining and attaining. And today in this devotion, I want to really concentrate on our role in what Christ has done for us, the pressing on or the, the pressing in. And Paul says this uh, sentence in that passage in Philippians where he says, forgetting what is behind and straining towards what is ahead. And that is really what I want to base these next two devotions on. Today, I want to talk briefly about forgetting what is behind and the power of letting go. I think when you read the New Testament, and of course, Paul wrote so much of it, you see Paul's life right through it and you see his commentary on his own life. You see the highs, you see the lows. And often I see you do see um, him talking a lot about his past life. And I think there is a, a, a tinge of regret in the sense of, you know, I, I persecuted the church. I did this. I did that. I didn't live a life uh, the way I should. And, and I think there is that regret that can remind us of our past. But I think this is the thing that I want to encourage us with about forgetting what is behind. I don't think Paul literally means forgetting what is behind because in the very next verse he talks about what he did in his previous life. But I think to forget what is behind is to let go of the power of what has happened in our past. We all know from experience, I'm sure, that we can allow our past to hold us back, whether that be a bad choice that we've made, some form of regret around um, just going in the wrong direction and we can allow that to hold us back. Shame is such a big thing. Or we can allow it to uh, uh, make us think less of ourselves, a little bit like the, the prodigal son who was walking back to his father and in his head he's thinking, I'm not worthy to be called your son anymore. And I think that, that our past can be a reminder but it mustn't hold us back. It mustn't be this sense of we're so regretful over what we've done that we don't move forward. And so when I think about forgetting what is behind, for me, it's about letting go of the power of our past and allowing our past to be there, but not be the chains that hold us down. And so as we move into uh, the devotion in a couple of days, off the back of forgetting what is behind, I want to talk a little bit about what does straining towards what is ahead look like for the believer. And part of that is the shedding of the past. But there are other things that we can talk about that will help us moving to our future. So God bless you.